There are only five baseline drills that you need to improve your ground strokes. Hey guys, I'm Alex Slabinski from Top Tennis Training and today I'm going to give you all the tools that you need to improve your game from the back. Unbelievable, 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 unbelievable. Now these drills work for everyone, no matter the level. The only thing that will change is the difficulty of the feed and its frequency, so how much time you have in between each ball. First drill is all about side to side, hitting alternate shots, forehands and backhands. In my case, I chose to do 20 shots, but of course that number may go up or down depending on your level. I'm working on my footwork to the ball, my recovery step, and of course the all-important tennis cardio to make me last in those long points. It's all about having that control on the move, and you can even set yourself targets on the other side so you may choose to go cross-court or down the line. Drill 2 is all about using our strength and protecting our weakness. It seems obvious that to win more matches we have to hit our better shot more often than our worst shot and in turn make our opponent hit their worst shot more often than their better shot. In this drill, I'm going to be using only my forehand. So when the ball goes on my right side, I'm going to hit my forehand. When it goes on my backhand side, I'm going to run around and hit an inside out forehand, hopefully going into the opponent's backhand. Here again, we can do 20 shots side to side. You're working on that movement and preparation for the ball, giving yourself space, and of course your targets. So you can choose to hit only into the backhand side. You can choose to go forehand cross and an inside out forehand cross. Drill 3 is all about grooving your weakness cross-court. The cross-court is the better option because if you can get confident at hitting that target, you're going to protect yourself and be in a better position in order to hit your weapon next. You'll make yourself very difficult to beat if you can get a good enough quality ball cross-court and you don't even need to worry about anything else. So if you are feeling like your backhand is your weakness, work on getting a good cross-court ball, continuous cross-court ball with quality. Here you can work on handling power, so if someone's hitting hard into it, you may uh, use a little bit more topspin, use the slice, so you can play a different variety of shots cross-court. But it's all about getting that ball into the court, deep, and a ball that the opponent cannot attack. Next, we're going to work on our defensive game. Here, we're going to feed 20 balls side to side, but the coach can choose to hit the ball into the ground. This generates a heavier topspin on the other side. Here, you have to adjust your footwork, your positioning to get back behind the ball and play with a little bit more height. Because you're playing from a defensive position, you need to give the ball more height to reach the other side and play a deep ball back. This is a great way to work on your fitness and your recovery after the shot. And that brings us to our last drill, controlling play from that mid-court ball with your weapon. We often let our opponent get away with a bad shot. Well, if you work on this drill, you'll be able to punish them every time they don't get that ball deep enough. Here, I chose to do 20 shots using only my strength, and the player on the other side is hitting mid-core balls for me, ready to attack. 
Again, if you have a high ball, you can flatten that ball out a little bit more, go for more power. If you get the ball that's a little bit lower, you may choose to do more topspin and work on your precision. You can choose to take the ball on and take it on the rise. So you don't want the ball to be coming up and down. You want to take that ball before it reaches that apex, the top part of the bounce. You want to get it before it gets there so that you can apply your power and take away time from your opponent. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll start doing these drills straight away press the like button, uh, leave a comment under the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel with that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any further lessons from us. I hope to see you soon.